Now to Hawaii and that river of lava threatening to devastate a small town. The red hot stream is now on properties burning at least one building and ABC's Rob Marciano is right there in Pahoa, Hawaii for us. Good morning, Rob. Robin, this morning I am standing in the first established neighborhood that will truly be feeling the heat from the lava that's been flowing out of the Kilauea volcano. You can see the glow behind me of that lava flow, even the flames sparked by that intense heat. That lava is coming to these homes, and it's likely coming today. Thick clouds of black smoke billow above the small town of Pahoa as this river of molten lava seeps toward front doors. Residents like Sarah Williams watching in fear, her home just 300 yards away from the leading edge of the destructive flow. What went through your mind when, when they came to your door and they said, you know what, if this is coming quicker than we thought? That we had a lot of work to do. We wanted to save everything that we could save. <laughs> The lava already leaving fiery destruction in its wake. Watch as it swallows this structure in a ball of flames. The first of many blazes to come. Officials say 40 to 50 homes are at risk. We're getting closer, you can smell it. We hiked out to see the dangerous lava flow for ourselves, arriving at this crackling trench. And at 2,000 degrees, it's just too hot to stand close for too long. Burning and inching closer as residents wait to see if they'll be in its unforgiving path. The weather has been pretty erratic, as has the rate at which that lava has been encroaching on this area. About 10 to 15 yards per hour at last check. It's about 200 yards away. So barring a dramatic decrease in forward speed, this spot will be engulfed by lava by this afternoon.